Have you any tea in your school now? Look, you, you don't have to cause a scene. Who's causing a scene? I'm just asking a question. This is just my friend. So what? Why do you have to come down so hard on me? Just coming down so hard. I just... It's very simple what's going on in here, Jenna. You told me that you were going to be at the library, okay? I'm in Sassage right yeah. now, and, and so are you. Did I miss something? Look, I do not have to report my every move to you, all right? Frank, why don't you sit at the table and you'll be fine. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, look who's here. Decided to come on? Oh, of course, it's dinner time. Cute. And I miss you sometimes. You know, I was about to send Frankie out to try for you. Oh, and if she found me in my favorite jewelry store waiting to have Christmas presents wrapped, would you pay her more to find out what was in them? Yeah, I might. Because then I'd have to buy an outfit to match. You really were shocked? Excuse me, Lucas, yes. but there's a telephone call for you. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, and don't look in any closets. Great outfit. Thank you. You do. <laughs> Can I uh, see you, or are you meeting someone? Well, I, I hope to meet someone. Well, oh, don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm looking for someone in particular. Oh. Well, I could try and page him. It is a him, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure you know him. His name is Lucas. See Grant, Jake, I'm going to tell him the truth, so help me God. Do it and you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. No, I don't think so. Listen to me. If you tell Grant the truth, you'll be hurting him as much as if you would have shot him in the chest. Grant's not here right now, Grant. He's down at the police station. Oh, has he changed his mind about resigning from the force? No, actually, he's filing papers to open his own detective agency. Headquarters. Oh, yeah? Good. Have him at Tops by uh, 7 o'clock. Senator, I believe you told Miss Hudson 6 o'clock? Oh, no. I must be mistaken. The party for my brother is at 7 o'clock. Make sure he's there. Yes, sir. Thanks. Lucas is my husband. I know. Oh, you know. <laughs> I've read most of your books, Miss oh, Holland. I, I, I love that Hearts and Flowers well, stuff. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you are? An old friend. Is, uh, is uh, Lucas around by any chance? Yes, as a matter of well, fact. Well, well, it's been a long yeah. time. Not that long. Well, you two have met, though. Yeah. You? Well, I mean, we haven't really met formally. Oh. Sally's an old friend of mine from Chicago. <laughs> we go way back. Yeah. Uh, you here for dinner? Oh, don't I wish. <laughs> We've got a really nice place here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I was just in the neighborhood, and I, uh, well, I remembered you married Ms. Galan, so I 
I thought I'd take a chance, see if you're around. That's very nice. Isn't that nice, Felicia? Yes, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Well, why don't I let the two of you just get caught up? Sally, can I get you anything? It's Sally, um, I'm afraid I didn't catch your last name. Madison. Madison. Like the president. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, how about a drink? Uh, uh, no, thanks. I, I only have a minute, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, take the table over there and uh, have a nice visit? Thanks. What are you doing? Do you think I like waltzing in here? Seeing everything you have, I don't. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, why didn't Rick come? Well, Rick is they only give you one car. Not again. It's not because of this job, is no, it? No, you can. I guess it's a misdemeanor for once. But I did get you some information before I went in, and he made me promise to give it to you personally. How did I find out? Well, it's about Jim's father, Rick. You aren't going to like it. This is crazy. I never said anything. I never said anything. Yeah, you're yeah. 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 degree, Dad. I'm, I'm just a little surprised that you're still hanging out well, here. You weren't surprised before when you saw me here, but did I stay too long or no, something? No, no, no. Look, if we don't trust each other, Dean, you've got nothing. Right? Would you please just listen to me? I just want to know why you're not at the library studying like you said that you were going to be, okay? Because I'm working, okay? What? I got a job here today. Your old job. What, now you're a busboy? Yeah, what, you, you think I'm lying about that too? No, it's, an hour ago you didn't have a job. Well, I do right? now. Why are you working? You don't need the money. Yes, I do. What are you talking? Lucas and Felicia pay for everything for you. Your school, your books, your clothes. What do you need I money for? I can't buy everything with their money. If you need something extra, all you have to do is ask me. I don't want you working and Look, cleaning tables, it. okay? It a bad idea to begin with. What? What? I just I wanted to save up enough money to buy you a Christmas present, okay? Is that all right? Hello, is this the Stevens residence? Slight emergency here at DNL, and I was wondering if you could free up some additional funds for me. Yeah, no, I, 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 re I realized that I borrowed uh, some money against the trust last month. Uh, <laughs> well, if it wasn't a problem then, why should it be now? I see. Um, no, no, um, no, no, that's fine. It's okay. No, I don't want my mother involved. It's my company. I can, I can handle it. Thanks. Goodbye. Anybody home? Hi. Hey, honey. Where is everybody? Uh, Jamie's at the hospital. Sam and Amanda are out Christmas shopping. Sorry, it's a whole moment, BJ. Do you 
You should listen to me on this point. You have this conversation with me. You should be very clear on the fact that I really don't care what you think. Yes, you do. What, Jake? You keep telling me to stick with the plan, but it never ends, does it? Your only concern, Jake, is to make sure that you stay in the lap of luxury for as long as possible. You're not doing this because you look great. You're doing this because of me. What? You have feelings for me. Why don't you admit it, Pauline? I saw it in your eyes last night. I was hate, Jake. Both. You totally worked. You know something? You just don't want to deal with what's really going on. Here. Bug off, Jake. Think if you go to Grant and make like the victim, he's going to feel sorry for you? I'm telling the truth for the thousandth time. You just don't want to deal with me. That's what you want, isn't Bingo, it? Bingo, Jake, you're right. You get rid of me. You dump this whole sad story on Grant's so lap. You let him have it. You want a piece of mine or his? And you're telling me you love this guy? I have a million things to do. Why did you want me to come over here so fast? I don't want to talk to your little girl. I really think she's just gone over the edge about this whole baby thing. Well, I can't talk to her. And she's getting the best medical care. Doesn't Jamie know about these things? I don't know what the treatment is. Oh, she looks like she's just a mess. We have to do something about it. Wait. Well, I just wanted to know you'd be able to back me up. Of course I will. I'll do anything that's necessary to help you out. I think it could get complicated. for dinner and Grant's treat. Maybe you should go talk to Marley right now. No. Well, the last person Marley wants to see right about now. Plus, I think I think we should talk to Jamie first. Fine, let's go to the cars. I can't. I told you, we have many wealthy care. Besides, Jamie's at the hospital, so let's just talk to him the first thing in the morning. We can't really do anything about it. Why not? So why? What? Victoria, people who don't know better might start to talk. Fine, let him talk. I work for the guy. Has he ever made a pass at you? No. Did he tell you exactly why he wants to take you to dinner? Yes. He's going to congratulate my daughter. There, you have it. Yeah, what? This is when does the brother invite the future sister in law to help solve her? Mother! You did, you could have trusted me. You could mind your own business. I trust you. It's Grant. Darling, he's after you. That's very clear. How can you even say that? He's trying to steal you away from his own brother. I swear it. Hey, I didn't expect to see you here. I didn't expect to see you either. Any calls? Uh, actually, yes. Some person called me. Yeah, so. Some gave a dog for this year. Yeah, you were supposed to have sent it back to us a week ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Corporate finance from you, you're the one who got us into this mess. Sorry. I'm going to apologize for my decisions just because money makes you nervous. Money doesn't make me nervous. The guy who owns half of my company out there makes me nervous. Well, what good is holding back the DNM lunch is going to do? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yes, you know. So, if we don't send ledgers, what will force them to come to us? That's right. And what if they don't want to negotiate? Oh, they will when I get the letter. Matt, this could go bad. We do not know these people mean what they want. Now, they could pull rank. They could sell off their share of the company. They could threaten you with diversification. I am president of this company. Sunburst wants DNM, they're going to have to come through me. I'm just not going to roll over and die. What's gotten into you, Listen, man? Everything I have in my life was handed to me, except this place. This place is mine, and I'm not giving you anything.
got everything I need, yeah. my editor's going to be thrilled. Why is that? There's a lot of indie talk about you and your music, dude. You're going to be our lead in the new voices section next month. Hey, that's, that's great. That's good. Good to meet you. Same here, man. I'll see you around. How are you doing over the Christmas break, Jenny? Uh, I'm not sure yet. A bunch of us going skiing. Oh, really? Yeah, just ski. I've never tried. You interested? Um, you mean like to go overnight on a, on a trip or something? Yeah, yeah. We uh, rent a cabin in the woods. It's great. Really? Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you what. If Dean's on the road when we go, I'll ask you again, okay? okay. Hey, Dean. I was just uh, telling Jenny about our skiing vacation. How's your slime? Uh, slime? Probably about as good as your sense of pitch. Do we have a minute of the Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we talk for a second? I hope so. <clears throat> Look, I think, I think what we had was a miscommunication thing, okay? Well, let's not have any of these miscommunications. Okay. okay. I, w I wasn't trying to make you accuse you of anything uh, before, and if I did, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I jumped all over you when I should have just stopped and listened. I don't know why I do that. I just always expect the worst from people. Me too, I guess. Why do we do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it's because we both been lied to most of our lives. Well, you know what? I don't want to live my life like that anymore. And I trust you completely. I trust you too. Anyway, um, I spoke to Cass about us. You did? Yeah. What did you say? I said that uh, uh, I was really good at beginnings, you know, but I never really hung around for the credits. But this time it was different. Because it was you, and I just, I really didn't want to blow it. What did he say? He said that the most important part of a relationship was honesty, and that you make sure you tell the other person exactly what you feel. And I agree with that. Yeah. 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 I love you. <laughs>
Excuse me. Oh, you just missed that, but I'm sure you can catch him. No, I'm not here to see myself. I'm here to see you. I thought you went in there to change into your jammies. There are times I really worry about your sanity. I resent that. Victoria, you watch him tonight. You mark my words. You'd do anything to stay in the money, wouldn't you, Jake? Making a mistake, Paulina. There are things that you don't know. About what, Jake? Jake, you know how I feel. You know I've made up my mind to tell Grant the truth. Now, if there's nothing new you have to tell me, move on! Fine, Paulina. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're gonna. She went right into Vicky's arms. Some coffee or soda? Or no, anything? thank you. I won't begin. Well, then what is it that you want to talk to me about that you couldn't do so in front of me? Well, I'm very interested in his company, and he's very independent, so he hasn't told me much. <laughs> Mrs. Matthew, then it would be good for Peter Parker. You want to buy DNA now? I think it's time that we both put all of our cards on the table. None of us survived our first Bay City fight. Oh, boy. People don't have to start naming our fights. We got the Chicago fight. We got the Detroit fight. <laughs> Got the Honolulu fight. Hey, now there's an idea. You think you think Lucas and Felicia should uh, spring for that one? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe if you got a tour there. Damn. See, now that's a good idea. You should be a promoter instead of bussing tables. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta get back. No, no, no. I always go to this about this new job thing. I, I don't want you to ruin the vision. 
It's been really um, Christmas, okay? It's, I really appreciate the thought, I do, but, but you can't risk your grades for a job that isn't worth it. But I want to get you something special. Okay. You already have something special. Excuse me. I just came by to give Dean a message. Listen. Well, Heather called. I spent you in New York. Tomorrow. What? Yeah, it seems you have a gig on Saturday, and uh, the band wants to rehearse first thing in the morning. You have to leave immediately. I don't believe this. Dean, if Dean and matters to you at all, you Obviously, Rick isn't going to be able to get any information on Jenny's phone real soon. But you know, Rick, he'll be out by the end of the week. And he's not given up on this one. He said he'd help you, and he meant it. Okay, so the investigation in Corey Publishing was stopped when Jenna was born. It can't be a coincidence. No, it isn't. And even if you know the code name, there aren't going to be a lot of files around. I can do it. Yeah, but you know... From what Rick says, this so-called Libra investigation named some heavy hitters in some pretty high places. I mean, there could be files hidden someplace else. But I wouldn't know where to start. How about the Quarry House? No way. Do you have connections there, Luke? You've got to use every connection. Excuse me. Luke. Yeah. I just thought that your old friend might want something. Sally, can I get you anything at all? No, thanks, Felicia. I, I, I gotta go. Mm. Do you mind me calling you Felicia, or do you like Fanny better? It's been great catching up with you. Um, do my best to you, brother. I will. I, uh, it's been really nice meeting you. And I'll be looking for your new book. April, right? Right. <laughs> well, bye. How did she know my name was Fanny? I told you, Sally's an old friend. Gee, she didn't look that old to me. Oh, come on. Sally helped me out when I needed it. How did you know her? For Pete's sake, you know, you need to be more into this thing than you need to. I was mostly friends with her brother. Mostly? <laughs> Fanny, please. Who? Rick? A good memory. Oh, come on, Luke. Cut it out. I don't know Rick any better than I know Sally. Should I? Rick works for me occasionally. What kind of work? Rick cuts corners. Corners, really? Yes. Look, if I need something quickly, Rick finds it for me. I'm not sure I want to hear this. Then don't ask. You know, this is getting worse instead of better. Old friends, secret meetings, lots of private phone calls. I thought this was over. But then I know what I'm doing. You promised me that from now on, your business would be legitimate. My business is strictly legitimate. Then what is this about? I can't talk to you. I have to make a phone call. Luke, I want to see you. You are just the lady I want to see. Mm. Is my table ready? This is a very special evening. We want to make sure everything's um, just perfect. Yes, I, I <laughs> think so. In fact, I told the chef all your instructions. Why don't I just go in the back and make sure everything's in the Thanks for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you look sensational. Thank you. Is uh, Ryan here yet? No. You, you have to realize that Ryan will be late even for his own way. <laughs> he better not be. This is something you best get used to. I'm used to it. Actually, and I'm Ryan the one was always irresponsible when it comes to keeping people away. I was trying to say that I'm the one who usually keeps him waiting. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm glad we have a moment alone. Why? Because there's something I want to ask you, and I'm not sure Ryan's going to like it. Which is? I want you to move to Washington with me. Silent partner, no, I don't want to. That's what I'm afraid you're going to have to do. To do what? Get 
extricate my son from a situation of development. Now what soon to declare bankruptcy with my father? Mommy is running to mommy. Mommy is running to you. Mommy's going behind Matthew's back. Mommy dreams and I say, this is a business deal between you and me. You will be very well rewarded for your efforts. You see, so in the whole bargain, think you know your son so well, maybe you should think about what he would do if he knew that his own mother was trying to clip plates for him. It's hard to buy that. That's exactly what we'll be doing. And then you will lose him for good. I promise you that. Well, that was sweepingly melodramatic. I think perhaps I will leave now. I'm not willing to sell out your son, Mrs. You Mr. already Cohen. have, Lorna. Either you're for my family or you're against it. I advise you to choose your group carefully. Yeah, Heather's expecting you to take the first flight out. You know, it is coming up pretty close to Christmas, Dean, man. Ace agreed to let you stay in Bay City as long as you met the obligations of the contract. Yeah, Dean, that's right. You've got to go. Well, what about you? And man, what about Christmas? I'll I mean, be fine. And you'll be back before Christmas. Come on. You knew this would happen somewhere. Yeah, listen, I'm coming right back after the show. Okay? I'm coming you right back that night. With Heather. Okay. I will work it out, Heather. Believe me. So, uh, Matt, would you like to join us? Yeah. Well, you have time to hang out with Barbers. Let's know how it goes. Take care, Jenny. This is just great. Look, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. fine. I was going to study for my poli sci exam. It's not that. I was, I'm not even. I don't. I didn't get rehired uh, this afternoon, and it's not just a good moment of imagination. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just on break. Yeah, well, you're going to be on garbage detail if you don't start busting tables right now. Yeah, well, come on. up on, all right? Take it easy. Just her agent. Look, um, Dean, the bottom line is you've got to go to New York. Yeah, I know. I know I do. All right, look, it, um, I was going to give you this for Christmas. Might as well just give it to you right now. Yeah. Um, open it. Go ahead. Sorry, it's not going to The only thing I have before is that. Are you sure that you want to give this to me? flattered by your offer, but my life is here in Bay City, and I just can't leave. Well, th this wouldn't be a, a permanent situation. No, I, I mean, I, I couldn't do that bi-coastal, you know, whatever you call it, kind of relationship with Ryan. That just that wouldn't be fair to him and his own family. Vicky, your career would take off. Well, 
What about my son? I'm not, I'm not a part-time mother. So, suppose you, you all move to Russia. Oh, Brian, what? It's... Brian could just as easily have a career as a private investigator in Washington as he, as he could here. But... Besides, you're the one with the career on the road. Isn't that Brian? I don't know. I don't know. Jamie would never let me take steering. You know, we have joint custody now. Jamie would see his son every week. You could fly him. It's, it's, just, it's too much. Yeah, we could have a future together, then. I plan to go to the top. And with you by my side, who knows? I might just make it. Besides, I know you're thrilled by the power. I've seen you in action. I can't talk about this anymore until I've had a chance to talk to Ryan. Certainly, I understand. You do? Of course. Let me ask you one other thing, then. Anything. Is Paulina going to? No, Ryan, she's already left. She's at Tops with your brother. Well, I suggest you get over there as quickly as you possibly can. Jenna. You don't want to talk about Jenna, you don't ask about her, okay? Fine. Jenna matters to me, Lorna. When I lost her, I lost. Oh, here we go again. You know, you just don't get it, do what? you? What is there to get? Well, I don't want to hear you talk about how much you love Jenna. Lorna, wait. No, I'm not waiting anymore. What is up with you? I love you, damn it. Sweet. Jake? Hey, Rachel. What's wrong? What's going on? Well, he was at Tops. They said we see our police tell him that he has his center on the pile of papers that they carried in some of his checkbooks. <laughs> what am I saying? A young thing, a very, very young thing. Crying out loud, and you're blowing this thing out of proportion. Do I quiz you when you have your little chats with Cass? Cass is our friend. He's your friend and he's your ex lover. Well, at least I told you all about Cass. I have put certain things behind me and I've done it for a reason. I do not want to discuss it. Well, I do. I want to know what's going on. Are you involved in something? I have a right to know everything. Is it too much to ask for a little trust for my own wife? That is not fair. Isn't it? It's obvious you've slept with Colin. And I don't really see Jake going down to Washington, although that would be a funny picture. <laughs> you, see, you see, that's what I mean. You keep me on my toes. <laughs> I'm serious about Colin, though. I mean, uh, what's going on with you guys? Are you... Vicky, I'll be honest with you. There was a time when I would have asked about him every morning in a heartbeat. Oh. But I've learned some things these past few months. Not to mess around with married women? Yes. What about engaged women? You remember a while back, just before the election, you told me that I deserved much more than I've gotten from the relationship with her. I remember. You were right. There are other women out there. Women of style and substance. Women who can be partners, not takers. My brother is a very lucky man. To Victoria Hudson. Personally, I'm happy you didn't marry her. Oh, why is that? She cheats. 
I mean, she cheated with you on her husband, and she'll cheat on her next husband, too. Cheaters cheat. One husband just isn't enough for some women. Grant, could I speak with you, please? I'm in, I'm in Grant, you've been waiting a long time for an explanation from me. I'm going to give it to you now.